All right, guys. I'm waiting on the 252 northbound CSX. I'm at my camp, and here he comes. It's supposed to be a manifest. He's supposed to not switch any cars. He's supposed to just crew change and go on. There's my train. All right, I gotta start looking for a car now. I see plenty of grainers. I'll get back with you. Well, I'm down here at Domtar at my old camp. I uh, I got on that mid DPU, unlocked it and got in, and just so happened they split the train in half right at the DPU. And for 20 minutes that conductor rode on the outside of that DPU and I was tenser than somebody fixing to go to court for a life sentence. God, I was about to poop my pants. But when he came in, I know he pooped his pants when he seen me. He goes, who are you? And I, I didn't dare say shoestring. I said, Mark. And he goes, what are you doing? I said, oh, just trying to get to Columbus. And he goes, well, you'll have to get off while we shove these cars. Uh, I'll help you get your gear off. So I handed him my backpack and bucket and water. He set it on the ground for me. He was real nice. He said, uh, after we shove these cars, uh, uh, you can go ahead and get back home. So I'm waiting for that right now. He's down there doing some work in the yard, but I'm down here at my little camp and it's 10 minutes after 2 a.m. Oh, we're finally rolling north. Coming south. Going southbound. I think we're gone. Back in my element, it's going to be a good night's sleep. Going by the yard office. Charging my phone with that turbine wind generator. Blowing in the wind, it's stuck to the side of the grainer with that rare earth magnet. It's doing pretty fast. Pretty neat little gadget. I wish it were daylight. It's getting daylight.
close to Spruce Pine and Ultra Pass, North Carolina. Just got out of Tennessee. Look at that one white coupler and the brown coupler. It's got some kind of powder on it, residue. My fingers are frozen. I've been using these hand warmers. They really help. Still in my sleeping bag. hit my camera. No wonder I didn't drop it. Did you hear that limb hit that camera? Woo! About lost it. sleeping bag it's too cold to film in front of the train I'll have to wait a while until it warms up we got 16 tunnels ahead Woo! man my fingers Man, I feel like a million doll hairs. I ain't been this happy in two and a half years. I ain't been this healthy in two and a half years. That antibiotic really helped. It, it got rid of the root problem of all my illnesses. I kept getting misdiagnosed. Finally, the right doctor found out I had that eight, 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 eight carposis.
too foggy to see anything.
ride this train on to Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina. It's about 65 miles after Bostick crew chain. Bostick's about another two hours, maybe three. Then about another hour and a half to Charlotte. I'm not gonna go on to Hamlet, and Monroe, and Rocky Mount. Rocky Mount's the final destination of this train. That Hamlet yard, oh man, that's a, a heck hole. It is hard to get out of Hamlet. It is out in the middle of nowhere. A gigantic yard in the middle of nowhere. Thank God Amtrak goes through there if you get stuck. Kind of patchy fog. A lot of sycamore trees. Coming into Spruce Pine now. A town called Spruce Pine. There's some track work, maintenance away equipment. These railroads need all the maintenance away they can get now. and a lot of railroad ties.
some other tunnels here pretty soon. I'm sorry I can't poke the camera up towards the front of the train. It's just too cold on my hand. And I don't have circulation in my hand with the missing fingers. Oh, the sun's coming up on top of the mountain. It should start warming up fast because the humidity's low. but I missed it on video. They're not very long. They're about six or eight hundred foot long. But there's a total of 16 tunnels.
I can do it with my knife. in my life my hands are so numb Train tracks always follow a riverbed because the riverbed is the lowest point and it's eroded out pretty flat on the edges and it's always pretty level. There's really no high grades along a river. That's why you see railroad tracks in the mountains next to rivers. I gotta try to get this open. Next train to stop. Be 
200 miles from anybody. All right, let's try this knife again. Band 
and houses. Man, I sure hate being out in the open like this. Cadillac grainers got a wall that high all the way around you can hide but I'm just right out in the open anybody can see me if they're really looking but most people are looking for the end of the train they can't wait to see that last car so they can go There's some red buds and dogwood blooming out. Well, that's a good swimming hole. I bet you there's some good fishing in there. I should have brought my collapsible fishing rod. I'll have to do that on my next trip. Go fishing and fry up fish right on the riverbank. Like that sandbar down there. Get your fire going on that sandbar and cook you up some fresh fish. Done that plenty of times in Montana and Idaho. Nothing better than fresh trout. going to be a long video I've noticed a lot of people like to see the scenery so I'm trying to do a mixture of it all I'm going to try to get a fire going when we get to Charlotte if I can find a place out of sight out of mind to build a fire get some sausages and cook up A log jam. And I brought my water filtration bottle. You can take muddy ditch water and filter it and drink it. Yeah, we got a, a lot of neat stuff on the merchandise website at shoestringarmy.com. I'll put the link in the description. Now, the askshoestring.com is not ready yet. Just the domain name is bought. look 
circle my map and see where we're at. That way I'll know where the next tunnels are. Alright, we're 60 miles from Baltic crew change. We just went to a little town called Wing, W-I-N-G. So we hadn't got to Alta Pass yet. That's where all the tunnels start in Spruce Pine. So we got about another two hours to Baltic. Oh, come on, son. Oh, that just looks warm. Look at all that hardwood, all that firewood. Not much to really see on the other side. Yeah, them sycamores, those are my favorite trees. I used to climb to the very top of them when I was little. Heck, I did it when I was a teenager, 16, 17 years old. Climbing trees, climbing tower poles. Nah, it don't look like we'll get a shot of the end of the train. That curve wasn't big enough. If I get up and point the camera in front of the train, it's just too darn cold on my hand. get me a nap. I had slept all night. An hour nap maybe. There's some sycamore. Sycamore has unique bark on it too. You can just peel it off. You could almost see the fish down there. Holy mackerel. That axle is like halfway off the rail. Ooh, I hate that. There's some dogwood over there. Dogwood usually bloom around Easter. The petals on the flower represent the cross that Jesus was crucified on. They got little red marks on the end of each petal representing the blood of Jesus. That's the story we learned in church about dogwood.
about five minutes to get rolled up and ready to get off. Yeah, they got some frost on the ground. So it got down to about 30 here, or it's about 30 now. white those trunks are on those trees.
Smoky Mountain. We're about 80 miles from Charlotte, about 20 miles from Boston. Her change is 20 miles. And I'm gonna get off in Charlotte and decide what to do there. that dark brown and up front. I think we're coming into the yard limits of Bostick. They'll crew change here in Bostick. And then it's 65 miles to Charlotte. Let's see if I can get a shot from behind. Since we're on that curve. Hey, I do see a a better grainer back there, that rounded side one. No, nah, that's a tank car. Never mind. There are a lot more grainers back there. Well, now that we stopped, ooh, that's the first time we stopped since we left Kingsport. That's five hours of non-stop rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and get packed in there and sit on my bucket a little bit further back and get hid. You see there's no, that small little lip's the only thing that hides you. I'm surprised I ain't got busted yet. But them Cadillac grainers, those semi Cadillacs, they come up to there and you can hide completely and it goes all the way around the circumference that wall does on those half Cadillacs. Now the full Cadillacs that I like, the whole wall goes all the way up the side and it has a lip on it about a foot and a half tall. But yeah, you can see where ash residue fell on that car and uh, contaminated that coupler. Whereas this one here is clean it's some kind of potash or it might be some of that micro uh, stuff they make uh, drywall out of uh, gypsum I think it's called gypsum but you can call a 1-800 number I'm not going to give it out uh and type in that number and the letters the A E F X two three three five eight four and it'll tell you exactly where that car is, its destination. But uh it's against my rules in the hobo code to give out that number. Let's see what we got going on up here. We didn't go into emergency. We didn't break air. See, you can even tell the difference in the soil. 
See how redder it is? We're getting closer to the Gulf Coast. It's more sandy. So we're out of the Smoky Mountains now. We're just kind of in the little foothills of the Smokies. Let me look on my GPS and see exactly where we're at. Well, now that we stopped, ooh, that's the first time we stopped since we left Kingsport. That's five hours of non-stop rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and get packed in there and sit on my bucket a little bit further back and get hid. You see, there's no, that small little lip's the only thing that hides you. I'm surprised I ain't got busted yet. But them Cadillac grainers, those semi-Cadillacs, they come up to there. And you can hide completely and it goes all the way around the circumference that wall does on those half Cadillacs. Now the full Cadillacs that I like, the whole wall goes all the way up the side and it has a lip on it about a foot and a half tall. But yeah, you can see where ash residue fell on that car and uh, contaminated that coupler, whereas this one here is clean. It's some kind of potash, or it might be some of that micro uh, stuff they make. Uh, drywall out of uh, gypsum I think it's called gypsum but you can call a 1-800 number I'm not going to give it out uh, and type in that number and the letters the A E F X two three three five eight four and it'll tell you exactly where that car is, its destination. But uh, it's against my rules in the hobo code to give out that number. Let's see what we got going on up here. We didn't go into emergency. We didn't break air. See, you can even tell the difference in the soil. See how redder it is? We're getting closer to the Gulf Coast. It's more sandy. So we're out of the Smoky Mountains now. We're just kind of in the little foothills of the Smokies. Let me look on my GPS and see exactly where we're at. Yep. We're just... We're just two miles out of Bostock Yard. So we'll crew change there, and they might switch out some cars on the front. I think I'm far enough back they won't mess with me back here, these cars. And then we'll do the 65 miles to Charlotte after the crew change. He was just waiting to get clearance to go in the throat of the yard. I had to get off and stretch my legs while we crew trained. Yeah, that's the car I'm riding on. Yeah, I'm gonna put this empty chew can under the wheel. Well, it might fall off if it hits too, so I'll put it right there now his brakes are applied is the only reason i'm putting my hand here never ever do that if that brake piston is in but the brakes are set now these car placards they used to put uh like the hazard chemical type or they would put a manual showing how to unload it, uh, what chemical company it come from. But they nowadays they just put a tag on the 
on the release there's a tool that fits in there and it cranks and that opens that bin up and a, a chute slides open and this whole thing empties out but you gotta have a special tool for it well them allergies I should have got me some Allegra or some Zyrtec Allegra works a little better we got a little bald spot on the tire but not bad see the shelling on the wheel those indentations you can always tell which way a train's been rolling by these indentations because they'll leave a little streak it'll look like a little meteor where the uh, imperfection is you'll see a streak leading away from it that means the brakes have been rubbing on it going that way the wheel rolling that way and leaving the streak that way so you know if the wheel is rolling that way it's going that way so if you ever approach a train and it's sitting there and you didn't see which way it's coming in you look at the imperfections on the wheels and you'll see them little streaks boy that stuff's a mess look like it's been to the golden triangle in Columbia but yes that sun feels good I slept for about an hour and a half you can see how much greener it is this lower elevation now the service road is over there. This is Bostick, North Carolina. Got about 65 miles to Charlotte. And there ain't nothing in Bostick. It's about a six mile walk to the nearest store from here. And it really ain't much of a yard. It's like six tracks wide. Kids, don't try this at home. Uh, better check this service road. Yeah, you can see the front of my train up there. and none of it's really grain it's like chemical petro uh, additives and there's really no way to see the rear of the train because it's on a straightaway that curve up there is the only reason you can see and it extends probably another 50 cars up ahead of that last one on the left. But not a cloud in the sky. Thank you, Jesus. Now, last time I was here, these box cars were down here. So they must be just holdovers when they need them they get a call for them they'll come get one and there's some grainers on there they shoved in too since I've been here last but I remember that blue box car I couldn't get it open but I got a plug door open though instead but anyway 65 more miles and the riding will be over temporarily so I did it I finally riding that antibiotics that they put me on was cured the root problems of all my illnesses I was just misdiagnosed several times and uh 
finally, every now and then, you'll get a good doctor that's come across something similar and knows what it is. Put me on uh, zithromycin and amoxicillin. It's that z pack and amoxicillin. In combination, they work really well. And it's for two weeks straight, not seven or ten days. They want to make sure they get all that bacteria out of your system in your gut. But I'm already eating at least four times as much. I'm using the bathroom like I'm supposed to. I'm sleeping eight to ten hours now. Uh, my mood has changed. Everything's more colorful. Everything's in more focus, not visually focused, but like things that come at me, I'm aware of them more quickly, which is essential riding trains. When you're, when you're foggy headed and you're riding trains or you're under the influence, alcohol or drugs, that is a death sentence. And it's a wonder. I mean, absolute wonder that I didn't die my first year riding. I mean, every single day I would drink until I blacked out. I would still get on the right train in a blackout, but I didn't know how I got on the train or where I got on. I mean, I knew I got on in Denver or Cheyenne or whatever, but I didn't know where in the yard I got in. And I remember it. we had like seven inches of fresh snow in Denver. And there was a crummy in the yard. Hobos called cabooses, crummies. There's a caboose in the yard. And I walked up to it and got inside and and rolled out and slept on the bed. Next thing I know, the bull's waking me up. What are you doing in here? I said, oh, I just needed a place out of the weather. I said, how'd you know I was in here? He goes, well, dummy, I followed your feet print in the snow up in here. And I went, ah, oh, duh. And I had like seven fifths of Lord Calvert. Canadian whiskey in my backpack and uh he seen all them liquor bottles he still gave me five bucks and he said there's a Denny's about a half mile to the west go get you some coffee and something to eat so uh, that was really nice I always remember the nice people and I always remember the bad people like that hunting party in Grey Bull, Wyoming in like 92 or 93. When that guy and girl come out of that bar and gave me a minute head start to run and they are chasing me through the yard with guns, shooting. I eventually found a gondola and climbed down inside of it and hid under some steel pipe. It reminded me of that movie with ice cube or ice tea where these hunters ice tea's like a homeless vet and they pick him up at a homeless shelter take him out to this ranch and they give him like an hour head start and then they start hunting him but they picked the wrong guy when they picked ice tea or ice cube uh, cause he ended up killing all all those uh, hunters it's a really good movie. I wish I could remember the name of it and watch it again. But yeah, I, I kind of faltered. I, I started chewing tobacco again, but only about half as much as I was. About a half can a day instead of a can. It's just real hard to break that nicotine cycle. And I want to see my eyesight's a little bit better since some antibiotics. And uh, I was reading the VA 
has these injections they can give in the cornea of your eye and revitalize the photoreceptors and give you some of your sight back. So I'm going to look into that. I don't like the thought of needles going through my eyeball. It makes my eyes water. It's like watching a Visine commercial. Your eyes water when you watch that drop go in that girl's eyes. See how I'm always looking around? You always have to look around. You never know who's going to come around driving around the corner and rat you out. There's a big old raven flew up. Oh, by the way, that chick, that finch egg that hatched, that, that little baby's already flying around and eating. It's completely weaned now. In like six weeks, it hatched, grew feathers, and it's flying now. You can't tell it from the mom and dad now. It's really dark brown. That's the only way to tell it's the baby. And I was for sure that thing was going to die. I looked in the nest yesterday, and it wasn't in there. And I looked on the bottom of the cage and thought, well, the dead body, they must have threw it out of the nest. And I didn't see it. And I looked in that woven basket nest, and there that baby was, and he flew out. Scared me to death. I didn't expect him to fly. So I'm going to put him in an extra cage I got and give to Ken when he's, make sure he's fully weaned first. But anyway, that's my news. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you could hear me last night or early this morning talking, but me and Jerry, my merchandise guy, are going to start a website called Ask shoestring.com the website's already bought and up it's just not developed yet you can go to it but it's not going to say much and callers can call in on like say Friday from 7 to 8 and video call and ask me questions and I can answer them back and it's all free and uh Jerry will go on there like every eight or ten minutes and advertise the merchandise because the merchandise is moving really slow or hardly making anything off of it because he's got to buy all the merchandise and then get it decorated and ship it. It costs more to ship than it does to purchase the product. So in some cases... We're losing money on that merchandise site, so we really got to beef that up. And that's at shoestringarmy.com. And all the shirts are back up, all the 27 colors, and small, medium, large, extra large, 2X and 3X are the sizes in 27 different colors, I believe. And there's some knives on there, some cutting boards, some tagged shoestring things, and uh, I think some hoodies. There's some hoodie, shoestring hoodies on there too, but it's a little bit too cool for me to take my coat off to show my shoestring shirt I'm wearing now. But anyway, I just thought I'd mention that real quick. But ask shoestring.com we're going to try to get it started late May because it's a lot of work and fine tuning and I got to set up a studio in my spare bedroom downstairs decorate my wall with train stuff behind me and put my award up on the wall behind me and make and get some good lighting in there and a good microphone and it's I think it's going to go good because I get tens of thousands of questions and comments. So I figured what better way is just to answer someone personally and they can see themselves on YouTube. But 
as time progresses, I'll let you know the progression of that website and when it'll start. But it looks like late May, mid to late May, we'll get that started up. But we'll post links and talk about it more as time goes by. Yeah, Bostick, if you ever end up at this crew change, don't get off. Make sure you got enough water and food because it's a six-mile six mile hoof to the nearest store. There really isn't a town here. Uh, the yards are just way out. The nearest big town would be Spartanburg and Charlotte. Charlotte's like 66 miles from this point. That's a short crew change. It's kind of a small yard. And this train's going on to uh, Monroe, then Hamlet, and then uh, Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And then they're going to yard it and tear it apart. That's the destination for this train, Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Anyway, I'll get off here and see what's going on. I know we're crew changing, but they might be having coffee and getting their orders and their track warrant and all that. So I'll, I'll turn my scanner on and see what's going on. Well, shoot, the train got going before I could see the can get ran over. It just pulled so fast, so hopefully we're leaving to Charlotte now. We could be moving up to take some cars off, we'll see. But we should be going to Charlotte now. All right, we're finally going, I think. I think we might be cutting some cars off. I just hope they don't cut me off. So, I think I'm going to get hid just in case. Okay, there's the tracks that split off and go to Spartanburg. We just hit the split. So we're on the Charlotte track to go southeast. Now Spartanburg is southeast. I rather meant uh, going to Charlotte you go north northeast so we're going northeast on the Charlotte track now but you go southeast on that Spartanburg track over there but I seen a guy worker waiting for the end of the train so I hope they don't shove this whole train back in the yard and yard it we'll see Looks like we're on our way. That guy in that van I seen must have just been spotting the train. They occasionally spot the train to make sure there's no defects or anything or dragging equipment. But we're on the Charlotte track now. It's a little bit rougher than the Spartanburg track because it don't see as much traffic. But I'm all rolled up and fixing to have a quick breakfast. Alrighty, I'll get back with y'all in a bit. Looks like we're on our way to Charlotte. How'd you like to fall off that? Yeah, 
I blend in pretty good with the color of this grainer except for my hat but everything else is brown and tan like me so I'm pretty well camouflaged as long as no one looks directly at me at the road crossing but we're leaving Bostick now all right we're coming into Charlotte downtown skyline I better get my maps out and see where I can get off Looks like it's going to be around Amtrak where we stop. Uh, that's okay. That's pretty close to downtown. Uh, Got to figure out where to go from downtown to get some privacy to make a fire if I can in city limits. That'd be a good place to hold up against that building in the shade. downtown Charlotte Charlotte's got one of the largest airports on the East Coast besides JFK uh, and I didn't know that until the first time I, I flew into there and my god it's the hardest airport I've ever had to get around uh, yeah, that's what I hate about these flimsy water bottles. When you toss them off the train, they bust. I got about a swallow left in there I gotta keep. I sure can't lose that. I hadn't taken my blood pressure medicine yet, so we'll get to walking here. See what kind of cars we had. It looks like some woods up here too. And gravel car, that green one, that army colored one. That way I can tell what freeway this is on maps. I think it's 27 or 127. I'm not sure. It's not that far down. 
it'll be easy to get down from over there because the vines aren't growed up this year. The blackberry vines aren't grown up eight feet tall this year yet. Watch I find an open box car back here, 10 cars. But I still feel awesome. I feel physically good. I'm out of shape, of course, but, well, there's an empty box car, but it's closed, which I could have opened. Had I known, I would have had time in Bostick. And, see, these kind of grainers you can't ride. See, there's no floor in them. I mean, you can ride that center beam and bungee cords your gear on, but you sure ain't going to sleep. If you do, you'll never wake up. This will be a good enough spot to kick it. Northeast Freedom Street. I'll have to... Well, somebody had a bad back, bike back accident. Let's see if we got a... Uh, I thought it was a... an electrical outlet, but sometimes they do have them. Let's get to walking around the side of the box. That way I'm out of sight, out of mind. Right in the clover, or I mean the English ivy. Perfect spot to regroup. All right, that's it for Kingsport to Bostick to Charlotte, about 300 miles. I did it in about eight hours. I got some good videos, so make sure you check out shoestringarmy.com and coming soon, ask shoestring.com. You can check that website out, but there's nothing really worked on, on it yet. But it's our domain name now, so we claimed it. And that lawyer I'm working with that's doing my taxes is going to legalize my name Shoestring. That way nobody can use it. It'll be a registered trademark of me. All right. We are in Charlotte. I never really liked Charlotte. I don't know, it's just too hustle and bustle. But anyway, let me regroup and see what the next plan is. We'll take a gander down the train and see what what all we had to ride. I don't, I don't see it. I see a half Cadillac, that second white grainer, and then those like green colored ones, those are floorless. They don't have floors in them. Now that tan one's a good ride too, but I was pushed for time and Kingsport getting on this. No more did I got on that grainer that I rode, we aired up and left. We didn't switch out in Bostick or in Kingsport. Man, I could have got that boxcar open too. Matter of fact, let's see how easy it would have been. Hope a cop don't drive by. Nah, he's got a seal on it. Even though he's empty, they unloaded him from the other side and I ain't about to dare go over, but you push this pin up. Let's see if I'm in camera. Yeah, that pin comes up. Then you push this handle outward, and then it falls down, and then you can push it open. 
but they got these braces here for forklifts forklifts to push them open if they can't do it with a manual arm handle they'll just take a forklift jack and uh push right there you can tell they haven't really used it so it must open really well just my luck if i'd known that if i'd had good eyesight i would have been on that box car all right begin ct a T, tcs i've heard of abs and ctc must be a city block type deal and there's the overhead signal up there and there's another line on the oh no it's gone yeah we're waiting on clearance to go in that little bitty yard by amtrak i'm still about two or three miles out from amtrak to kind of give you an idea of where i'm at from downtown all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm feeling a lot better you can probably tell by my video compared to the last ones how tired i was and sluggish and oh i was exhausted in those last three videos but from now on it's uphill all the way for shoestring all right i love you guys There goes my DPU on my train finally got going. Some of you residents from Charlotte or surrounding areas may notice where I'm at by that water tower. There's a overpass down there i think it's a walkway overpass it no it might be a vehicle but this is where i bailed off and this road that goes under and downtown is probably two or three miles up so if anybody knows where i'm at as a trivia question let me know by that water tower if you're from Charlotte or been to Charlotte put in the comments where you think I'm at as a trivia question alright guys talk to you later in the next video very soon